And for more on this, I'm joined by our international affairs editor, Philip Turrell. Philip, good to see you. Can you just start off by telling us, uh, those of us who don't remember, some background of this case? Well, Julian Assange is now 50 years old. He was born in 1971 in Australia, and he created WikiLeaks back in 2006. The aim of WikiLeaks was to distribute documents that he, as a hacker into the internet, as someone who was very able to break into uh, secure systems, thought that should be for the general public to see. So there were all sorts of documents about the war in Iraq, about the war in Afghanistan, about uh, the oil scandal Petrogate in Peru. Um, this uh, seriously annoyed many governments around the world. And so there's been a cleavage created since then as to whether Julian Assange is doing something right or doing something wrong. He has supporters on on, on one side who think he's a hero for letting people know secrets, and on the other side people are blaming him for putting lives at risk and divulging secrets that governments should not be uh, able to, to give out to the general public. So uh, in 2010 uh, he was arrested after WikiLeaks had been distributing uh, footage, of, for example, of shootings going on in Iraq, uh, documents that were given uh, to him by Bradley Manning, a U.S. soldier. Uh, he was eventually, uh, there was a manner out for his arrest uh, and also on rape charges in Sweden. And he took refuge inside the Ecuadorian embassy where he stayed for seven years uh, until 2019 when he lost his asylum and was then arrested by the British authorities and put in jail. So since then, the United States has been wanting him to be extradited. And at a hearing earlier this year, uh, it was decided that Julian Assange was not in good enough mental uh, spirits to be able to be extradited, and there were fears that he would take his own life because he was so depressed if he was moved out of the United Kingdom. So it was decided that he would stay there. Well, so if that was the argument for not extraditing him, that he was mentally ill, wanted to commit suicide, what has changed? Well, what has changed is that the psychiatrist who examined Julian Assange back then, who spoke to him and saw him at least 20 times, uh, said he was uh, hearing voices and, and having uh, hallucinations, uh, was really uh, in a very bad way mentally, uh, was not able to be able to travel and probably would take his own life if he went back to the United States. He later admitted that he had not been telling the truth. And it's come out since then that while Julian Assange was in the Ecuadorian embassy for all these years, he ma managed to father two children with his South African girlfriend, who is also his lawyer. So uh, the, the appeal is saying, well, Julian Assange obviously wasn't in such a bad mental state if he was able to support a relationship and have children during that period. So therefore, he should be uh, rejudged and then uh, then he will be extradited to the United States. So that is what's happening today. We're not going to get the result today, but this is almost the second to last chance the United States will have to get Julian Assange back to the United States, where he faces 18 uh, criminal charges of uh, uh, divulging uh, top secret documents. Um, and Donald Trump wanted him back. And even there's the same hard line from, from Joe Biden wanting him to come back to, f to face trial. So uh, th this is the second to last chance. If this fails, then the US can go to the Supreme Court in the United Kingdom. But in that case, the Supreme Court has to agree uh, to that hearing. And for the moment, that is not uh, too certain. If a Assange is extradited. He ends up back in the U.S. to face these charges. If he's convicted, what kind of penalty is he facing? Well, that's quite interesting because he faces um, basically spending the rest of his life, 150 years in jail uh, for, for on the charges that, that are leveled against him. But the United States has opened the door to being more uh, uh, kind towards Julian Assange if he is brought back. They say they're not going to put him in a high-security jail in Colorado, for example, which is one of the, the threats that he was facing. Uh, and they say also that if he is convicted, he will probably be able to serve his jail term in Australia, where he comes from and not in the United States. And concerning the actual length of that jail term, he may act not even be in jail for very long, uh, it's estimated between four and six years. So there is this pressure on, on Julian Assange to go back uh, to the United States. It will be very interesting to see how uh, this appeal court hearing uh, pans out and exactly what the decision of the judges is going to be. Okay, certainly. International Affairs Editor Philip Turrell. Philip, thanks so much.